That's not even half of it. It is my holy girl. Stop. You don't have to cheer. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. If you're new, I'm Dala. Welcome to the channel. And today, this is a little bit different from the content that you've been seeing for the past few weeks, but I'm going to be doing a night routine. I'm going to be vlogging my night routine and just taking you guys along with me the steps that I do every night. I feel like I'll like start to do like more like vlog type stuff and like challenge type stuff. Like I saw this one that looked fun to do where it was like a billion dollar or like billionaire morning routine. So I might try that because it looks like very hard to do. So let me know if you guys want to see like fun challenges like that. Let's go. Hey guys. Okay, so we are in the bathroom and we are ready to start our skincare. It's... It's a long process. I like to take care of my skin, personally. That's not even half of it. Yeah, we're using all that on my face. And possibly more. Yeah, I tried to use like self-tanner the other day. What do we think? Do I look tan? Do we like me tan? This is like probably the tannest I will ever be since I'm like so pale. I don't know if it's really showing up on camera well, but since I'm so pale, I do not tan ever. Like I cannot get tan. This is the tannest I've ever been. And that says a lot. Honestly, I like almost don't want to wash this makeup off. We get like a quick montage of this makeup before I wash it off. I don't think you guys realize how editable I am. Like I just gave y'all like 10 billion clips worth of edits right there so you're welcome time to start washing it off and time to remove the bangs i get so mad when people say this is cheetah print where is that cheetah print that is not cheetah print babe that is leopard leopard print you see that leopard print cheetah print is like little dots okay stop getting it mixed up guys stop time to put my hair up you guys have seen it before. Shut up. I don't want to hear it. Stop moving me. Stop. Stop. You've seen it before. Shh. I'm still hot either way. Stop. You don't have to cheer. <laughs> so I used this first. I actually need to get more, but it is the Softy Mo Speedy Cleansing Oil. I think that's what it's called. And it just looks like this. It's just a Japanese oil cleanser. You guys have probably seen it literally everywhere come on it's went super 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 viral so this is the first product and i just literally go all in i think i might have to triple cleanse this time because i was wearing a lot of eye makeup i wasn't wearing like a lot of foundation because i never really do but i was wearing like a lot of eye makeup so we're gonna have to triple cleanse i think i literally just got this yesterday and used it for the first time yesterday and i honestly really like it it is the rovectin aqua hydration gentle cleansing gel it looks like this and i really like the brand rovectin i just had to try it all right one more time get about that much that's the consistency of it Also, after washing your face, always make sure you pat your face dry with a towel. Never, ever, 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 ever rub it. No, don't do that. <laughs> Just don't. It's really bad for you. Trust me on that. So next, I'm going to be using this April Skin Toner Pads. I actually literally just got this yesterday as well. You just take it out. You put it on your cheek like this. Do not exfoliate your face every single day. I do it like three times a week, at most. When you take it and just exfoliate. Make sure you're doing it gently. It's like to tap in the remaining products in. Tapping in products like this is better than like rubbing it in because it's better for like actually getting the product into your skin. Think of like whenever you're using a beauty blender, you hit it on your face to blend the product in more, gets 
the skincare into your skin better. That's the best way I can explain it. So it improves blood circulation. So I really recommend trying this. And next I'm gonna be using this Mixin Bean Essence, but since I already exfoliated my face, I'm just gonna tap it in instead of doing the exfoliating part. This is a really good essence because if you want it to, it can exfoliate your face and it gets like all the dead skin off and like anything in your pores. But since I just exfoliated, I'm just going to tap it in today. Already glowing. Next, I'm going to use, and I know you're gonna be like, why are you putting on a toner after an essence? But this rice toner from I'm From, it is my holy grail. I use it every day, every night. It is just so, it's so good. It just makes your skin so soft. Sometimes I even layer it a few times, like if my skin is extra dry, because as you guys know, I have dry skin, so I like to layer this. Next, I use this snail mucin from CosRx. You guys have definitely seen this because of how viral it went. If you guys are into skincare, you know this. You know this. Mm -hmm. And it's really good. Like, I've been using it for quite a while. If you haven't tried it yet, I highly recommend trying it. Next, I'm using this Rovectin Skin Essentials Essence. It is, I highly recommend this one too. Honestly, I highly recommend all these products that I'm using. They're all really good. Also, if y'all don't know, I do kind of have like a bit of rosacea in my cheeks. So if my cheeks are red, it's not from the products. It's just cause they're always red. <laughs> this is really, really, really good. That's the texture. My skin is literally so dry from the fake tan that I put on. Like, I literally do not think I'm ever gonna fake tan again just because of that. It's irritating me so much because I hate when my skin is like dry, but like the whole time I've had it on, my skin has just been reptilely dry and I cannot stand it, especially like this area. No matter how many times I moisturize it in a few hours, I come back and it is still dry. <laughs> I actually just got this today. I want to try it, but I also have other fun moisturizers that I want to show you guys, like this one. This is from Medicube. It is a collagen jelly cream, and it literally, like, looks like jelly. It is so cool, and it's, like, very... This is probably the most moisturizing product I have. This product, it is by Simply Vital, and it is a collagen, retinol, and hydrolonic acid anti-aging cream, which is also very hydrating. Simply Vital actually sent me this to try out, and I ended up really, really, really actually loving it. So, I recommend this product. I do want to try out this. It's by Physiogel. It's hypoallergenic. It's called Daily Moisturizer Therapy Facial Cream. That's the texture of it. Oh. I think I actually really like it. Let's put this on because I really want to show you guys this. Like literal jelly. So I don't want to over moisturize. Barely need any of it. Like. You can, you'll be fine with the smallest amount because it's like so heavy and like moisturizing, but like in a good way. See how like shiny it makes your skin? Like glass. I don't do these every single night. <laughs> I do face masks probably like two to three times a week. I want to try to do them like more, maybe like four or five times a week, but... Yeah, I literally only really use face masks from Mediheal because they're like my favorite face mask brand because they have so much serum in their masks and they just give me like the best results. That was a fail. There we go. Soothing one. Look how much serum is on that, guys. Their masks just feel like so cooling, good on your face. It's so nice for like, if you've had a long day coming home and like using one of their masks. Like this isn't even sponsored. Like I just, that's just how much I genuinely love their masks. They're like the most like soothing masks, honestly. Ow! 
it's so cool. But there's so much like leftover serum in here too. So I like to put the leftover serum like on my arms and like legs and stuff. Get it all in there. Okay. I usually leave face masks on for about like 15 to 20 minutes. I don't want to leave it on until like it starts drying up because then it actually starts having the opposite effect on your face and like it'll just make the serum kind of suck back into the face mask so you don't want to leave it on for too long. During this time I really like to clean up while I'm waiting to take this off so usually I'll just go around my room if anything's dirty I'll pick it up because I cannot sleep with my room being messy. Like, I literally just cannot fall asleep with my room being messy. It's like the worst thing ever to me, I don't know why. I used to be able to do it, but recently, like the past year, I've just always started cleaning my room and just keeping my room clean in general and always picking up before I go to bed. The only time that I ever get acne is like if I try a new product and obviously it does not work for my skin or I'm close to getting my cycle, my womanhood cycle. Those are the only times that I like ever get acne really. I was blessed with good genes or something because I've just never really gotten acne. It's just I have really dry skin and like sensitive skin and not the best skin texture. So I've done so much research throughout the years, especially like during like last year and like mid year before that, I started doing so much research on beauty stuff. Like I found out everything. I learned how to do makeup that suits my face. I learned like what hairstyles suit my like face, what colors suit my face. I learned my undertones. I learned if I'm a cool tone, warm tone or neutral, I'm a cool tone. I learned what hairstyles look best on me. Like I literally, learned everything. I did so much research. Like I literally learned it down to what eyebrow shape looks best on me and what eyeliner shape looks best on me. I also learned about skincare at that time. I'm actually thinking about reacting to my old YouTube videos from like my old channels and on one of the old channels I used to do beauty videos but like it was back when I had literally no idea what I was doing and I didn't know what looked best on my face. Like I had blonde hair. That says a lot. Blonde hair washes me out so bad. Like I can't even tell you guys. And like literally I would rub my face with a towel and then I'd microblade my face dry. Like it was awful. I came from that kind of skincare, guys. So if I can make it out of horrible treating my skin, you guys can too. started drying up <laughs> and I like to use this Laneige lip mask sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong I like don't know how to pronounce anything to be honest but it looks like this I use it every single night it is such a small bottle but it actually like lasts a ridiculous amount of time that is the skincare we are done we got the glass skin and call me extra, but I literally always spray perfume before going to bed. I just use the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet one. It smells so good. Like no matter what perfume it is, I never go to bed without wearing perfume. It's just always been like a habit of mine. I like to smell good even if I'm sleeping. And this is gonna sound crazy, but I think I'm gonna moisturize my face one more time because i think i did leave on the face mask a bit too long so my face is like feeling a bit dry not like super dry but like 
just kind of like firm, so I'm just gonna moisturize one more time. I wanna use something light, so I'm just gonna use this again, a tiny amount. I literally cannot go to sleep with like a weird face texture because it just like irks me. It just annoys me. I cannot do it. I do not sleep well if my face has a weird texture. But now, the skin is even shinier. Love to see it. I do not go to bed and I am not done with my skincare until my skin looks like this every night. But I just use this sweet shimmer whipped cream hand cream. I got it for Christmas. <laughs> I do, I mean, it's the only hand cream I have, so I need to invest in like a good one. But this will do for now, and I just put that much on. What it is, but I hate my hands. I hate my hands having a dry texture. That's the texture of it, it's just like. Yeah, but I cannot go to sleep either if my hands are a dry texture. There's literally been times where I've gotten up out of bed at midnight and went and moisturized my hands because I just could not fall asleep because of the texture of my hands. Another tip, use deodorant before you go to bed because you sweat during the night and you don't want that BO anywhere. I'm gonna shower in the morning anyways, but still, it's the thought that counts. Let me know if you guys also want a updated morning routine. Let's go to my room. So now, I mean, I guess I just basically go to bed. Sometimes I'll like do a little bit of oil like on the ends of my hair before going to bed, but I'm not gonna do that tonight, but I'm just gonna head for bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more of me, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Any other video recommendations that you want to see from me, like if you want a morning routine, I will do it. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.